10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engine full power, and lift off. So action three. Further beyond, opening the door for more to follow. Godspeed AX3. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Of course, if you are just joining us, this is the launch of the Axiom 3 launch to the International Space Station. Those incredible views on your screen, and there's our first shot of the AX3 crew inside Dragon on Ascent. Now in just a few seconds here, we should hear the call out that Falcon Not 9... Power telemetry. Stage one throttle down. There's that call out that Falcon 9's engines are throttling down to help us pass through the period of maximum dynamic pressure during ascent. Max Q. There's that call out for Max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And that Falcon 9 is going faster than the speed of sound. Now, at this point, we will begin to throttle Falcon 9's engines back up. Stage one, throttle up. There is that call out for mission control as well, as our AX-3 crew continues on their way to space. We're now T plus one minute and 32 seconds into flight. The next event we have is MVAC chill, similar to what- MVAC the, chill underway. There's that call telling us that, again, we're flowing a little bit of that super chilled liquid oxygen. Stage one Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. That call there was one of the abort mode call outs that uh, the crew is calling out as they are uh, making their ascent on Falcon 9. Now we're less than uh, 30 seconds or a few seconds away from Four events that will happen in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, as it's there on the bottom of your screen. Stage separation, ignition of the first stage engine, and the first stage's boost back burn. Stage one, throttle down. That call telling us that the engines are beginning to thr throttle down. MECO. Stage separation confirmed. SpaceX Dragon 2 Alpha. Some loud, loud cheers here as we can see that the first, first and second stages have separated. A beautiful view there. The brighter light is the second stage under power of the MVAC engine. That first stage booster is now heading back toward the Florida coast. One thing I love about daylight launches is we're going to get some amazing views. We should be able to see the Space Coast come back into view as the first stage gets closer and closer to uh, landing zone one. Note that that first stage is actually still coasting to its apogee. So it's uh, about, as you can see there on your screen, 114, 115 uh, kilometers above the Earth's surface. And it's going to keep coasting for a little bit. Beautiful view there on the right-hand side of your screen of that Stage MVAC one, engine. Boost back, shut down. All right, that boost back burn has concluded on the first stage. Everything looks nominal with the second stage uh, trajectory. Everything also looking Dragon, good. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Everything looking good on the first stage as well as we see those grid fins begin to deploy. SpaceX, Dragon, loud and clear. Now the next two major events we're tracking for the first stage, which right now is on the left-hand side of your screen, is going to be the entry burn at about T plus six and a half minutes, where we'll light three of Falcon 9's first stage, engi stage engines, followed shortly thereafter by the landing burn at T plus seven minutes and 32 seconds, which will be a single engine burn to bring us back to landing zone one at Kennedy Space Center. Great view there of our crew on board and you can, of course, always keep an eye on their telemetry down in the bottom, bottom corner of your screen.
this point, we should be just about a minute and a half away from that entry burn right, start. Yeah, SpaceX trajectory nominal. Good call outs there that we continue on a nominal trajectory with Dragon. SpaceX Dragon, we copy. And acknowledgement from the crew. These are incredible views on your screen right here. Again, the left-hand side of your screen is stage one, making its way back to Florida. And stage two, you see that MVAC engine burning, taking our AX-3 crew to orbit. That entry burn we're waiting on here is going to be a relatively quick burn. And what we're doing with our first stage is effectively scrubbing off some of that velocity as we come in for landing. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. That's a nominal trajectory for Dragon as we continue to orbit. Dragon, we copy. Again, confirmation from the crew. And we are expecting about two and a half more minutes from that second engine burn. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one entry burn shutdown. As we heard the call out, that entry burn has concluded. The next burn will be the landing burn. As I mentioned before, we're heading back to landing zone one. We're gonna come through the clouds right now. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Everything continues to look nominal for, SpaceX, Dragon, we got for the second stage there on the right-hand side of your screen. These views really are breathtaking. Uh, such clear, crisp views of both the first stage on the left and the second stage on the right. Right through with these clouds should be uh, our first view. Once again, there it is. Just like magic, we see landing zone one. <laughs> Crowds cheering here at SpaceX Mission Control Hawthorne as we tune in to see if we stick the landing. And if you couldn't tell by the loud cheers, we did. We did Stage stick. Two, FTS has saved. We did stick that landing. Falcon 9 has landed once again. But turning our attention back to the crew, as you see there, our next event is second engine cutoff, uh, or SECO, as it's referred to there at the bottom of your screen. Second stage will coast for a few minutes until Dragon is commanded to separate. A lot of the, just the energy here as SpaceX mission control is buzzing. You can hear commentary behind us. Right now, the crew is experiencing about three Gs. Uh, so pretty much a roller coaster um, for those thrill seekers out there. Stage two is in terminal guidance. And we are about 20 seconds away from that second engine cutoff. MLA will know this, uh, this feeling very well, this experience of going from now almost four Gs to... Next Dragon Shannon. To... Uh, Copy Shannon. We are now just about 30 seconds away from that anticipated Dragon separation. Starting to see the crew there play a little bit with the fact that they are operating in microgravity. Thing four is nose cone deployment, among other things, which as Kate mentioned earlier, there we go. Dragon separation confirmed. 
As you can see, Dragon has separated from the second stage. A pretty cool view here looking up at the heat shield that will return the AX3 crew back to Earth in just about two weeks. So this is our first view of AX3 flying free. Um, we also heard some nice words from launch director Mark Soltis. Uh, so just some really nice communication from both the Falcon team and the Dragon team to the AX3 crew. And with that, our AX3 crew is in orbit and on their way to the International Science seeing their first taste of microgravity. Here is a view of our MVAC engine, which has been shut down. Um, the 